There is big, and then there is the blue whale. Elephants are big, but they aren't blue whale big. Even though Argentinosaurus was huge and estimated 200,000 pounds, it still was only about half the size of the largest known blue whale. Blue whales are born big and then become enormous. A baby blue whale is almost 25 feet long at birth and weighs as much as a small pickup truck. The calf feeds on its mother's rich milk and gains about 200 pounds every day during the first year of life. By the time the baby becomes a full-grown whale, it can reach over 100 feet in length as long as three school buses and weigh nearly 400,000 pounds. Blue whales have a fluke that propels them forward underwater that is wider than a racquetball court. They're also the owners of the largest heart on Earth and the biggest tongue on the planet, a tongue that can weigh as much as a medium-sized Asian elephant. When a blue whale eats, it can fill its 20-foot-long megamouth with thousands of gallons of water in one gulp. The whale then uses its mighty tongue to push the water through its baleen, which are like thousands of bristles hanging from its upper jaw. The whale strains the water through its well-designed baleen while trapping any of its favorite food, creel, as well as other crustaceans and fish. The whale then uses its perfectly designed tongue to scrape the baleen clean of all its catch. A blue whale can eat about 8,000 pounds of seafood daily, the equivalent of eating six or seven cows every day. Whales communicate with other whales using short, high-pitched songs, whereas a noisy jackhammer can reach 100 decibels and a loud jet engine 140 decibels Scientists have measured the sounds that whales make at up to 188 decibels. A whale's communication ability is so powerful that researchers have recorded their songs from over 500 miles away, or the distance that separates Washington, D.C. from Cincinnati, Ohio. Evolutionists claim that whales evolved from land animals. In fact, the standard evolutionary explanation is that a sea creature evolved over millions of years into a land animal, which millions of years later went back into the water and evolved into the sea creature we call the blue whale. Allegedly, a wolf-like animal began eating fish and started living more and more of its life in the water. Over millions of years, this four-legged creature supposedly began living full-time in the oceans. Its front legs became flippers, while its back legs became tiny and non-functional. The creature's dog-like tail became a fluke. Its teeth disappeared, and then voila, perfectly designed baleen conveniently evolved in just the right place. Where's the proof for such a whale of a story? Actually, there's no proof, just evolutionists' interpretation of various bones and fossils. No one has ever proved or will ever prove that the blue whale's great ancestor was a four-legged land animal any more than this dog-like animal's great ancestor was a fish. Whereas humans and most land animals could survive for only a few minutes in the frigid waters that marine mammals call home, whales are perfectly designed for life in the sea. The blue whale can withstand bitterly cold water temperatures because of the tens of thousands of pounds of blubber in its body. This blubber, which is made up mostly of fat, functions as insulation, helping keep the whale from freezing to death in chilly waters. Does it really make sense to believe that a 100-pound, four-legged land animal evolved into a 400,000-pound blue whale over millions of years? How did it evolve the many specialized features of whales, such as the capability of withstanding freezing cold temperatures in deep water? How did the supposed dog-like ancestor of whales evolve the ability to endure the extreme water pressure that whales withstand when they dive thousands of feet below the surface of the water? Such pressure would quickly kill most creatures. How did a skinny, dog-like whip of a tail become a 20-foot wide fluke? How did the land animal's feet become flippers? And how in the world does a dog-like nose move to the top of its head and become a blowhole? That sounds like a lot of hot air to me. No four-legged creature fathered the blue whale. A whale's complex functional design demands a designer. These magnificent marine mammals should be a reminder of their maker and his majesty. Both the scientific law of biogenesis 
and the Bible agree that whales produce according to their kind and, logically speaking, the first of its kind must have been created by an intelligent designer.